My God. What's up, bro? Aaron. What's wrong with you? Aaron! His excuse is flimsy, Sam. I think there's something he's hiding from her. The only reason I thought could make Aaron break up with Natasha was if she cheated. Did she? Cheat? Yes. Natasha would never do such a thing. She loves him so much, and you know that. She wouldn't even go as much as thinking anything that would jeopardize the relationship. You and I know it, you know. So what then is the problem? What is the problem? I know my friend can cook so well. So Natasha's inability to cook is not a problem for him. She even told me he said she's not romantic. He told her that. <laughs> That's a lie. Really? Yes, I know how many times Aaron has told me and reiterated that the reason why he loves Natasha so much was because she's romantic. So that is a lie. Well, I guess you don't know your friend too much. Why would you say a thing like that? I know Aaron. I know my friend. And I know it's a matter of time before he tells me everything. How is Natasha taking it? Not good. Not good at all. I can understand that. I can understand. So I'll just rush back in. Yeah, and, um, yeah. I'll just uh, get to it. Have yeah. a nice day. All right, see you Bye. later. Bye. Aaron, why did you break up with her? You never asked me why I started dating her in the first place. So what do you mean by why I broke up with her? Aaron, what is wrong with you? You mean to tell me you just woke up one morning and decided to end the relationship that up till last three days meant everything to you? Sam, it's my life. It's entirely my business, okay? I don't see why you're all worked up. Aaron. I, I am your friend. I, I can't see you do things that are not right and keep quiet. Okay? Aaron, Natasha loves you. She loves you so much. I mean, she wants a future with you. That's why she accepted that ring. Aaron, your life, people's emotions are tied to it, especially Natasha. Your actions, just consider these things. Your actions could be of a great danger to her. Please. I'm not the only man in this world. She will find someone, love him and forget about me. Look, I'm not the first guy she's dating and I shouldn't be the last. I don't why... Why are you like this? I'm disappointed. Why, why did this sudden change? Fine, it's your life. If you want to maintain this status quo, just remember that I'm not part of it. It's disgusting. Remember, this could put her life in grave danger. She loves you, man. It's a very bad idea and you'll regret it. I promise you.
Life doesn't start or end with Aaron. I hope you know that, T. I mean, I can understand that what Aaron did to you was absolutely wrong and heartbreaking. I mean, what happened to that girl that no prefect ever bullied in school? You never allowed that, not even a beat. That girl is wrecked. Don't ever say that. Aaron wrecked that girl. Just stop. You are not wrecked, and you know it. What Aaron did to you is never to be compared to whatever you've experienced in life. It's not close to it. I don't think you know how strong you are. You want to understand? I understand perfectly. And that is why I've decided to suggest this to you. Why don't you change city? Yes, travel, start a new life. Yes, away no. from this drama, trauma. Get a life, start not afresh. Finish. Don't say that. I cannot pack up my life and leave because of Aaron, okay? No, I'm going to stay here. I'll heal and I'll grow back to the woman that I used to be. It's okay. Be fine, okay? <sighs> Bro, you're still here. Aren't you going to get ready and go to work? Aaron. It's been over a month you ended things. Why sit here sulking over a relationship you ended yourself? If the relationship meant so much to you, why did you end it? Why? Just look at the pain you're going through. Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, are they talk to you now? You know, you're lucky you're the owner of your business. If not, if they, they don't sack you since now. If they don't sack you. Good morning, Cynthia. Sir, Mr. Mode just got here this morning and he's not happy. This is the third time he's coming this week. He said if he doesn't get the artwork by tomorrow, we'll have to make a refund. All right, that, 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 that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. relationship. I can do it, Natasha. You can do what? 
look, you can cook, you can do the house chores, you unromantic, and you're rude. What are you talking about? You knew all this before you gave me this ring. Yeah, listen, maybe it was a mistake on my part. I was foolish. I wasn't thinking, but this time around, you're not the woman I want. Hey. Yeah. Huh? You're still here. I need to finish this design and um, forward it to the client's way. Yeah, 6 p.m. Running late. At the detriment of your girl's life? Babe, how does this concern your life? I'm hungry. Okay, go make some food for yourself. If you know I don't know how to cook. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm going to make food first. Let me just finish mm -mm. it. Please. I want it now. Please, I am so Please, I need you. I need you. Okay, let me save the either. job. Mm -mm. Please come right now. Mm. Oh, God. No man is worth your life, Natasha. And so what? He doesn't want me anymore. He doesn't want to be with me. There is more to life than Avon, Natasha. There is more. Hello, Mom. Yes, I'm fine. I'm resuming work tomorrow. All right. Take care of yourself. talking about? Well, I told you I will not be here sulking over a loser. It is lost, not mine. Of course. You're looking so charming. You okay. see, any man that has you in his life should consider himself the luckiest. Mm. You get that? <laughs> no. So I hope your mom isn't angry that you stayed out of work for some time now. No, she was actually happy when I called her yesterday and oh. told her I'm starting work today. That's nice. I'm happy you made the decision. I'm happy I made this decision too. That way, I'm going to get over him faster. That's why I'm here to help you. We're hanging out right after work. Mm. Yes, I mean it. Mm -mm. I don't think I'm ready for that. Why? <laughs> it's no long talk. You are going out with me today to have shots, and that's final. Mm. Okay, my main. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a great day, darling. You too. Bye. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Mr. Bode, I'm very sorry for being late. I just that I have some family issues I'm dealing with. You know it's unlike me. It's okay. Um, thank God uh, you've been able to sort out yourself. Um, for the design, I must confess, it's perfect. Thank you. Of course, yes. it has to be. You know, we always aim at delivering excellence. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And you're really proving it. Thank you're you. really proving it. Babe, let's go, okay? Let's go have fun. It's not worth it. Come on. We don't have time for bad energy. Mr. Martins. Yes, sir. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is all right.
Well, I know he must have thought he would see me with tears and sorrows all over my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More reason why I insisted you get out from that mood, you know. But, <sighs> come to think of it, what? do you see how ugly that guy is? Uh-uh, babe. The guy is not ugly. Please. Please. You see this part now where they talk, the guy, mm -mm. He's he not ugly. is, and I can't believe He's that not. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. I know the guy messed up, you understand? The guy for your hand, no doubt. But you see that part where you say he's ugly? At all. He's not ugly. The guy is cute. That's what you think. I know so. Mm. I'm so tired. Yeah, man. I enjoy the outing anyways. You see what I know? And it's for sure. When a woman loves a man, mm. Mm, he becomes everything. The most adorable human being in the whole world. It happens that way. But when it's the other way around, like you're done loving him, <laughs> forget it. So I understand how you feel, okay? I understand you. Yeah, babe, I need to take this call, okay? When you're looking this hot tonight, whose son are you trying to rear? Well, there is only one person's son in my net. I already know who it is. So all this is for Nathan? Yeah, all for him, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> After one year mm -hmm. of being in a relationship with him, you still do this for him? Mm -hmm. Does it matter? Well, it doesn't, but one would think is, for someone you're going on a date for the first time with. It's always the first day for me. Mm. All right? I'll see ya later. Mm. I hear you. I'll see you later. All right. I'll see nice. you. <laughs> Have fun. All right. Why are you screaming my name like what? 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 I don't know what. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! 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 Oh my I, I don't want to hear, hear how it all went down. I want to hear how it all went down. Let me go and change. <laughs> you think that guy pulled my leg today? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Come on. Please <laughs> just go up. Come down and tell me how it all went down, okay? I'm waiting. <laughs> I love it. Wait until you see that wedding ring proper. 
Oh my god. It's gonna be diamond, you know? I cannot wait <laughs> to see it. I know. So, where is the honeymoon going to be? Where they have a lot of animals. Mm -hmm. Kenya, baby. Oh my god, you remember? Of course I remember. I remember everything that concerns you. Mm. I said my honeymoon was going to be in Kenya. The very day we met, I told you that. Yes, and I... I remember telling you I was going to spend the rest of my life with you, so I put it in here. Mm. <laughs> you are so sweet. And I love you. I love you too. God, I cannot wait. <laughs> Me too. I can't, I can't wait for us to start making babies. Mm. Yeah. So we'll start with twins. Oh my God. Our triplets. You know, it's now it's now family bloodline. Oh my God, that is too much. I'm even talking about two is much when you're talking about. Three. Oh, there's this time. No, there's this time one. we haven't done. This I don't thing. have strength. No, you don't have the strength. When we do that stuff, it's just triplet. Welcome, bro. Son. Yes? Son, I'm dying. What do you mean you're dying? You were right. I did not break up with Natasha because she couldn't cook or any of those, right? I just didn't want her to go through any of this with me. I don't want to... I don't want to drag her into a sorrowful ending of something beautiful we, we shared. Okay, so what, what, what is wrong with you? What is going on? Son, I have leukemia. You, 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 how? I, you, you have leukemia? Yes. That's why I've been hunting up. I don't want to feel pitied. I just want to leave the remaining of my life. Just go. So base, yeah. he said we are going to see his parents for official introduction next week. Mm, that is <laughs> nice. Like, I can't wait, seriously. And immediately after the introduction, we are getting married straight. Mm. Yes, so I've been thinking of a perfect date for this wedding. So fast. Babe, I can't wait though. I don't know time at all. I cannot allow anybody to come and engage me, turn me into queen of the ring, and then dump me right after. No time for that. I don't have time. <laughs> Tasha, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Please, please forgive me. I didn't come at well. Forgive me. It's fine. I'm deeply... Just a moment. Tasha. It's my mom safe. Hey. 
Hey bro. Hey bro. How are you? I'm good, at least I know I'm not dead yet. You can't be dead, bro. You cannot be dead. A lot of people need your life. Bro, there's no point wasting time. So, uh, bro, I was thinking, why haven't you started chemotherapy? It's a waste of time, bro. Why would you see a thing like that? Chemotherapy, a waste of time. It will better your life, you know, and give you more time to leave. <laughs> Look, bro. There's no point. I have accepted my fate. There's no point delaying the inevitable. Come on, Aaron, stop this. What do you mean the inevitable? You have people who care about you and people you care about. You have to fight for your life. I mean, you need to give it all you've got. Why should I fight? What am I fighting for? I've accepted my feet, bro. It is what it is. Aaron, I just want you to... Sam, Sam, please. Please. I'll just be right at the city room. Sure. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hello, Nancy. I need to see you. It's very important. It's a matter of life and death. Please. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> let me guess. You want to find out if my friend, Natasha, has died of depression, right? Nancy. What? Isn't that what he ever wanted? Hmm? Huh? But newsflash. My friend, Natasha, is living her best life. Healthy and hearty. Okay? And believe me, it's only nature that will punish that your friend, if not worse. He has cancer. Oh, that serves him right. He deserves it. That's the best punishment he will get for betraying my friend. That's gross. That's gross, Nancy. My friend is not a player, and he will never be. He didn't just leave her. Nancy, Aaron left Natasha because he don't want her going through the pains of seeing him suffer and die. Hold on. You're getting me confused, Sam. What's going on? Aaron has leukemia. Yes. 
and the doctor said he has less than a year to live. So you, 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 you see, he just don't want Natasha to, to get to know this and suffer the rest of her life. That's why he left her. Wait, Sam. Are you, are you for real right now? Are you I'm for real? I'm serious. I am serious. Oh my, oh my God. I really had fun. I can't remember the last time I felt this way in a long time. Yes. Hi. Why are you like this? Um, hold on a moment. I need to speak to my friend. Um, your fiance came here. He said he's been trying to call you and your number is not going through, so try and return his call, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I had to give my friend a message. Mm-hmm. Well, if you want to see me again, why not? I mean, who doesn't like a good acting? Right. Hey, bro. Uh -huh. I told her. What? I mean, I told Nancy. I mean, someone needs to tell Natasha. She was not supposed to know. That was a decision and not mine. It's my life! It's not yours! It's not your life, Aaron! What is wrong with you? Do you even know what it means to create a life? Why do you think the law holds someone accountable for attempting suicide? It is because your life is tied to others. You do not choose when to live or die. What is wrong with you? Do you have an idea what your reluctancy and stubbornness to commence chemotherapy is doing to me? Do you? It will break her. It will break her. But at least it will give you a few more months to leave. something I've been meaning to tell you. So there is this guy that I met online and he's been, you know, asking me out and I've been finding it difficult to open up to him. I mean, you know what I've been through the last time? You know that Aaron hurt me so much and there was no piece of love left inside of me. So it really scares me to open up to a relationship. Aaron did it for you. What? Where is that one coming from? You see, um, Sam called me and I, I, I went to meet him. He's dying, Tasha. Sam is dying. Aaron is dying. Aaron is dying. What's that supposed to mean? It's leukemia. Hey. 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 What are you doing? Are you all right? Nothing. I'm. I'm just tired. Tired. I feel a bit of weakness around my joints and I'm not having body pains though, just weakness. Have you taken any drugs? 
you know how much I hate drugs. It could, it could be fatigue, you know. Maybe it's fatigue. So I've taken some few days of work just to relax. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's few days for us then. Okay, baby. Mm. Do you want anything? No. Looking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'll just be here with you. Okay, mommy. Mm. What are you saying? What are you saying? No, I can't. Hey, so what do you, why, why are you ah. saying it now? For what to happen? Yeah, I'm asking for circle. You're asking for because you know circle is difficult. No, no, it's not my fault. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Say what you want. Rectangle. <laughs> That's so mean. That's so mean. You don't even have it. No. You said rectangle. Where is it? No. Uh, so you don't have it? Just... No. <laughs> this is witchcraft. I didn't want you to <laughs> be. Just witchcraft. Please. Pick two, boo boo. Okay. Um, okay, I don't have it. You don't have it. Babe. Yeah. Your nose. You're bleeding. This is the second time in this week. Second time I'm bleeding from the nose. Is it that much? No. Can I please get a tissue or something to write? Mm. Okay. No, no, don't yeah, do that. I'm don't not, do okay, that. I'm, I'm not. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> How? You don't trust me that much. So this is why you broke up with me? Because you were sick? Is that why? <clears throat> I'll just take a walk. This is the reason why I broke up with you. I couldn't have you go through the pains with me. You started with fatigue nose bleeding for several months then started feeling joint pains all over at a point I was experiencing shortage of breath sometimes I could I could hardly breathe so I went to see the doctor and I'm so sorry, but this is what I feared, Iran. What is it? Leukemia. Doctor says I have blood cancer. But it's alright. I've accepted my fate. No. You cannot accept this. I refuse to accept it with you, okay? We are going to fight this. She, this is why I didn't want to tell you. Stop giving me false hopes. False hope? You call me giving you a reason to live. False hope. A reason to live for us. For our dreams, for everything that we shared. We can't achieve everything that we dream of. My days are numbered! No, your days are not numbered! I would never accept this! Never! Baby, Natasha!
Leukemia develops when the blood cells acquire a mutational changes in their genetic materials or DNA. And sometimes it has to do with environmental factors, which is the mutational changes I was talking about. In Aaron's case, I think it has to do with um, constant exposure to the chemical materials in the lab where he brings his design. So, Doctor, how long does he have? You see, the cancer has already eaten deep into him before diagnosis. So, he has like about eight months to one year. One year? I'm so sorry, Natasha. So so sorry. It is going to be fine. See. Yeah, baby. Why haven't you been picking my course? Um, um, it, it's it's Nancy. Nancy, where's Natasha? She's in her room. She came back crying from the doctor. She's been crying all through. She even locked herself in her room upstairs. Okay, I'll I'll be there soon. Coming up. Bye. Baby, it is me. Open the door. You know I don't like watching you go through pains. Please, open the door. Tata, please, open the door. Please. Baby, I'm not dying anytime soon. Eight months? <laughs> And the way it talks, it's the way you call time. Eight months is enough to make a baby, don't you think? I don't want to raise a baby alone. Tasha, open the door, please. Just stay out of this, Nancy. Come here, baby. You remember when I lost my mom four years ago? When I thought my whole world has ended in the accident. You walked up to me and you said, Aaron, I'm gonna take good care of you and be your mom until you're dying day. That's what you said. And then, you 
out my head and said, If Daim beside me is pain, then you would want to feel the pain in your next world. <laughs> you chuckled and you said, You are good with words, aren't you? Even a dead brain can conjure words that will be appealing to your heart. That is what you said to me. And now you want me to live the rest of my miserable life. Hoping to hear these words. Come here, Tasha. Together we shall build a memory within eight months that will last a lifetime. Come, baby. Please come. Babe, wake up. Yeah. Mm. Help worry, me pull the blanket. Yeah. Yes. I made breakfast for you. Some cook? No, I cooked. Baby, you don't know how to cook. Ah, uh, yeah, but, you know, after you said all that to me, I went home and I started learning how to cook online. Wow. Impressive. Mm. Mm. Baby, I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything that I said. I'm, I'm so sorry. Please. I know. Does it taste good? <laughs> you should try it to see. Oh, uh, well it looks like you still need a um, few lessons here and there. Don't worry, I'll teach you. Mm. Please don't just let pride finish you. Eat and let me go arrange the kitchen. Okay. I'm tasting it though. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. So I... Got a ticket to go see a movie later in the day. To see a movie? Yeah. You don't like going to the cinema? I do now. No, you don't. Baby, I promised you the best of the couple of months left, didn't I? I know, but you don't have to do it no, if you no, don't no, want no, to. No, 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 baby, I want to do it. Whatever you enjoy doing, I want to do, okay? Let's go have fun. I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm. Right. So the movie um, starts later in the day, so we've got some more time too. Right, that's fine. 
Do you want anything? Do you want me to get you juice or something? No, no, no. I just want to spend time with you. Mm. So can we go inside? And do what? Like, nothing. Just go inside. And... <laughs> I want to be here. You want to be here? Okay, yeah. cool. So then put your legs across. Yeah. So. Did your mother ever tell you about beautiful legs? <laughs> more than I imagined. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. You enjoyed it? What? You enjoyed it? Yes, I did. I mean, um, uh, Raymond showed a lot of courage to still marry the lady. Raymond, come please. His name is Richard. Oh, yeah, yeah Richard was, yeah, uh, yeah. It was nice. Mm. <laughs> Let's go in. Okay. I did. Yeah. Are you alright? What? What? What's wrong with you? My knee. Your knee what? My knee. What is it? Sorry. My knee, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. How is he? He's holding on. I'm so sorry, Tasha. I'm really sorry. Well, he has accepted his fate. I'm the one still finding it hard to come to terms with it. I can understand. I know they say death is inevitable. But it's not the same when you're constantly reminded of its inevitability. To think that I was even mad at him not knowing what he's going through. But you didn't know. I wasn't sensitive enough to know. Come on, pal. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know Aaron doesn't even blame you for it, either. You know that, right? That one. Does he even find a fault in anything that I do? <laughs> That's what you get when you finally meet your soulmate. It's like that. And yet, death is staring at him right in the face. My girl, it's okay. Right? Come on, girl, don't be too hard on yourself. Everything is going to be fine. Trust me. All right? It's okay. Hey. Hey. Has she left? Yes. I didn't want to bug you. How do you feel? A bit weak, but um, I'm okay. Um, should we go see the doctor? No. Nah. Remember, it's one of the symptoms. Yeah, it's okay. What happened to your wedding? Um, she said Nathan's parents want them to postpone. So they cut caught a little more. Why? Mm, because they want to get to know her. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But you know, your mother accepted me from the very first moment she saw me. You mean the devil will accept you any day, baby? <laughs> Look at you. You and your flattery. You still haven't lost it yet. That's what I intend to do for the remainder of my life. You're jobless. I know, I know. Let me find us something to eat. Hold on. I hope the food will be as nice as the cook. Mm. 
You can trust All me right. in that. All right, baby. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. Hello, Tash. Oh, hi, Sam. Uh, you left when I came in. Oh, yes, I... It wasn't like that anyways. I had a job in Abuja, so I just came in. All right, hope it went well. Yes, it did. All right, welcome. Thank you. Aaron? He's in the room. Oh, Tash, hmm? can I talk to you? Oh, yeah, sure. I actually came back because of this. I spoke to Aaron yesterday and he said he hasn't commenced chemotherapy. And I'm scared. I'm very worried. We both know what will happen if he hasn't commenced yet. Tash, the reason why I wanted you back into Aaron's life is because of this. I spoke to the doctor and he said that if uh, Aaron doesn't commence the treatment as soon as possible, he will be in grave danger. Tash, I know you love him. And I also know he loves you as well. That's why I am fighting so hard to have you back into his life so you can give him a chance, give him a reason to continue fighting for his life. Like I said, I am worried. He doesn't listen to me. He's very stubborn. You know that. But I want you to take advantage of the love he has for you and convince him to commence this treatment. It will help him and you, it will keep him longer for us. I know you want to see him more. Please, dear. Thank you, Sam. You are a friend indeed. I promise you I'm going to talk to him and he will start his chemotherapy as soon as possible. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I feel very dizzy and tired. Let me go in and take a rest. It's fine. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome again. Thank you. Why haven't you started treatment? Treatment? The doctor said it's not treatable. Oh, so what does chemotherapy do? It only manages it. So why haven't you started managing your own? Look, there's no point, okay? Even if I delay it for whatever, I'm still gonna die. Oh, so we should commit suicide from birth because we are going to die at some point? Is that what you're saying? Listen, I know that you've accepted this. I probably never will. I know you don't want to fight this, but I want to. So please, I need us to start chemo as soon as possible. That shit is stressful, B. I'm not doing it. I'd rather stress myself for a year just to get a day with you. Then sit and do nothing. For my sake. Please. Please. Hello, Natasha. You're here? Yeah. Is everyone fine? Yeah, he's fine. He's okay. He just called me over in respect to commencement of his chemotherapy. Oh, he has agreed to start. Yes. Oh my God. Initially, I was surprised and then I realized that you're still with him now. So instantly, I knew that was your idea. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much for making him do this, Natasha. Thank you, doctor. Okay, I'll be on my way now. I have some patients waiting for me at the hospital. All right. Do take care of him. Yes. Bye. Yes. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby. What's excitement all about? Mm. What's the good news? Well, I just met Dr. Joy coming in. Oh, that? Mm. Thank you. 
You know, I'll do anything to spend another day with you. Am I not lucky? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 that might actually be very interesting if you do it inside. So I suggest you go to your room. Mm. What's your problem? Is it that you're jealous or what? Jealous? Of course, he's jealous. I, mean, I just want to watch football. Not mm, jealous. You should get and yourself so, a girl. Yeah, get yourself a girl. I have a girl. And where is she? Somewhere in Nigeria. Oh, please. Oh, so normally you go to the girl's house. I'm in the room. You see what you call? She should have stopped there when you came in. Hey, hey bro. Go with her now. Oh, done a quick, quickie. Quick, quick, quickie. My brother, go conjugal kill All right, let's watch the football. Mm. You prefer football than... This is the starter. You know, you start, then you continue. Are you just sure? like... Yeah, it's like... um. Serve it hot. If you hadn't come in here, we would have done it quickly. You, can't you read the signs? Master, serve ah. it hot. Bad belly. Master, serve it hot. In the stillness of the night, we find our hearts entwined. Two souls, two souls bound by a love. Hey. Hey. Baby. Yeah? I want to ask you for something, please. Don't turn me down. What is it? Just don't say no, okay? What is it? Promise me you won't say no. Oh, how can I make a promise when I don't even know what it is? Just promise. All right. I promise. Good. Will you go on a date with me? A date with you? Yes. Is that what you've been so scared to tell me? Babe, come on. You know I will go on a hundred dates with you without saying no to any. Good then. Good. Okay. Um, guess how we're gonna do it. You're gonna go home, and I'll come pick you up. Mm. It's sounding like a date. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be endearing. No problem. I'll go home, change, and I'm wait for you. Good. So we have a date. We have a date. All right, baby. Mm. Staying here now for weeks now. Well, I'm here for just a day or two. Hey. Mm. Aaron, did he travel? No, he's around. He asked me for a date. I don't understand. He asked me to go on a date with him, and he said I should go home, mm. get dressed, and he'll come and pick me up like the princess that I am. <laughs> <laughs> Much love, no, from Kinona. One day, mm. well, that's that's sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet. You know, sometimes I just imagine how he thinks that out. You know, you don't do, huh? I'm what? here. I better come out. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Leave me alone. I did. I did quick best. Single people did. <laughs> Natasha, I think you have a package. Okay. I hope this fits that perfect body of yours, Aaron. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh. Oh. You see what's inside? Oh, this is so beautiful. 
She's never even seen it. Yes. Look at this dress. It's so pretty. Okay. It will fit perfectly. It's Trust nice. me. Yes. And to think that he knows I love blue. Wow. I can't wait to rock it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful girl. It's really nice. I'm telling you. Hold that first. Oh, okay. That's it. Hey, babe. Hope you liked it. I love it. Good. All right, so you get ready. I'll be at your doorstep in the next few minutes. I'll be right here waiting. What's that? He said he's coming in the next 90 minutes to pick me up. Oh, okay. You should just get dressed then. Sure. I go love <laughs> Wow, that's, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. You and flattery. You're making me shy. The goal is to make you shy forever, baby. Mm, you and words. Shall we? Sure. Thank you. You know, I enjoyed the date. I had a very good time. It's one date I can never forget. Mm -hmm. I had Thank fun you. too. Yes, I have to go. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Anything the problem? I want to go with you. No, baby, you're gonna ruin the fun. No, babe. I rather ruin the date than stay there without you. Okay. Alright then. Let's go. What is it? Baby, this, this blood. Babe, I need to call the doctor. This blood is too much. What do you mean by no? No, no, be necessary. No, I have to call. Where is my phone? I have to call the doctor. Aaron, have you been taking your drugs? You know how much I hate drugs. 
This isn't about what you hate and what you don't like. This is about your health. I'm already unhealthy. What health are you talking about? Why are you so lackadaisical about your condition, Aaron? Because I don't fight lost battles. Aaron, the thing is... Look, are you done? Yes, please. Thank you for passing by. I appreciate it. Thank you. So good. Oh, he has refused to take his medicine. No, doc, that can be true. I give him his medicine. I do that myself. Do you normally sit back to make sure he takes his medicine? Here, for your medicine. Thank you. So I put some clothes on the dry line. Could you please help me take it? I'll get them when you're done taking your drugs. I'm taking my drugs. Please do. You want it now? Mm Doctor, thank you so much for the quick response. You're welcome. I really do appreciate. Please take care of Aaron. Okay, I will. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. Okay, thank you. Aaron, why are you not taking your chemo drugs? I don't need it. I'm fine. You're fine? Like this? You lied to me about taking your chemo drugs. Why? So that's why I didn't want to tell you in the first place. The truth is, I don't like taking drugs. I rather prefer taking like thousand injections to two tablets of drugs. I, I don't like... I don't care what you think you can or cannot do. You lied to me, Aaron. That's the point. How am I supposed to be in this house with you, knowing that you won't be sincere with me about your health? You know what? It's fine. You can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. If you don't want to take care of your health, it's fine. I'm out of here. All right, go then. Go. Asha? Here. It is so annoying, especially at this time. What have you done there? You know, we talked the last time okay. Okay. and he agreed to go for his chemotherapy. We went to the hospital. The doctor gave us some drugs for him and I've been giving him the drugs. And guess what? What? He's not taking them. What does that even mean? He just manages to find a way to throw it out whenever I'm not around. Oh, God. He got, that's childish. Um, yeah. Girl, stop it right there. Girl, I am the only one that has a right to insult my man. Yes, ma. It's just so frustrating. I know, oh, right? God. I know. Come on, girl. What's up? I'm upset. That's what's up. I know. It's okay. Just relax, okay? It's gonna be fine. Relax. It's okay.
entwined Two souls, two souls bound By a love so kind But in the depth of time A shadow soon will fall For one of us, one of us must answer destiny's call this fleeting moment will hold on tight and breaks in love chasing away the night in your eyes i see the stars that glow Let's make every second count Before you go As time slips by And the end draws near Our love will remain Untouched by fear We will cherish this moment this moment forever they will end you mm. for love knows no limits yet ever pure this fleeting moment will hold on Chasing away the night In your eyes I see the stars that glow Let's make every second count Before you go, you go Bro, you know I won't let you go out this night to see her. I miss Natasha. Of course I know you miss her. She will come around. But not just this night. I miss her so much. I need to see her. I need to go see her. You know your problem is that you're very stubborn. You don't understand, bro. I can't function without Natasha. Can't you see how I'm miserable? You don't take my advice. You need to relax. You could endanger yourself out there. You're not getting it. I said I miss Natasha. I need to see her. I'm here now. Oh. There she comes. Hello, Nat. So sure. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I miss you. I'm so sorry. I missed you too. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. I'm here now. Baby. We love you too.
I know this may be a bit awkward because I'm a woman and you did this a year ago. But I've imagined my life without you in it. And it seemed so imperfect. I know that you have just few months to leave. But I want to spend the rest of this month being your wife. So, Aaron, please marry me. Today is the happiest day of my life. Mm. I love you, babe. I love you too. Let me see. There's nothing we can do. He's gone. No, no, no. no please don't say that. Then please talk to me, please, please. Please wake up. Ah, baby. Please, please, please. Just wake up. Ooh. In the stillness of the night. 
find the heart and find it. Two souls, two souls bound by a love so kind. But in the depth of time, a shadow soon will fall. Chasing away.